This is Wilson Morales from Blackfin.com talking to Daya Okaniyi and Amanda Stenberg, who were recently in The Hunger Games, which comes out on DVD on August 18th. Being that this was your first film, what was the excitement of it when you got, first got cast in a film? Extreme excitement, screaming to no end. I literally was running around my house, like freaking out, and I had to sit down because I was about to faint, and I had to drink water, take deep breaths, you know. I can't, couldn't believe it. Can't believe it now. So. It was, it was extreme fear. First of all, just when I got cast, knowing that I'll actually have to go do this thing was terrifying, and then followed by extreme excitement because I called my parents since I was freaking out. Uh -huh. And their, excite their ex excitement made me excited, so yeah. that's all good. Now, had you guys read the books before you went out for the parts? Yes. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe all like three of them. five times? I got, yeah, probably. I was a huge, huge, huge fan of them, so of course I freaked out. <laughs> now, I had not read the book, so the characters you play, are they the right ages? Like, are you guys the right ages for the characters? Yeah. Not for me. I'm, I'm 24 and my character's 18. Okay. So, but it was cool. I, I lived 18, so I was like, what? what? How afraid would an 18-year-old be as opposed to a 24-year-old? Well, actually, I was 23 when I made the movie. So, yeah. It's you know, and yourself? Well, Ruth is 12, and I was 12 when I shot it. So. Now, you had done Columbiana earlier, so you know, so getting into the action scenes was a little bit old hat for you because you already had done, done your little training, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. I think I definitely took that, um, you know, and I learned a lot of things from Columbiana too, just about how stunts work and everything. And I got to see that again on Hunger Games. You know, and for you, this is a, a, obviously an introduction into Hollywood because people had not seen your work before. How, come, how much fan mail have you received since the film started and now that it's over and it's coming out on DVD? It's a constant cascading of mail just shows up every day from my managers. It's, but it's, all, it's always flattering. It's always great when people you know, write you and you've inspired people. And, and uh, it's, it's great. I always love when people say, you know, I, I, was, I was afraid to go to try and be an actor, but seeing what happened to you and you know, how things have been amazing, you know, it inspires me to go and try to be an actor. And I love reading those mails, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's a lot of fan mail. Now, for those who have not seen the film, talk to me again, what are the characters you play? Right. Well, I'm Darkney, and I play Thresh in The Hunger Games, and he's the boy selected from District 11 to partake in The Hunger Games, unfortunately. And um, he, he's one of the favorites to win The, the Hunger Games because he's, he's a big tribute. He's described as being the biggest tribute. I think Katniss describes him as, as uh, having the, the stature of an ox. Um, so, yeah, but it, deep inside, he really doesn't want to be there. He, he doesn't want to be a part of the games. He's not out for blood. He just wants to stay alive and eventually make it back to his mom and his sister. Yeah. <laughs> and you? Uh, well, you know, Rue is also from District 11, and she um, is chosen for the games and is one of the youngest because she's 12 years old, and that's like the lowest age requirement. And um, in the arena, she kind of bonds with Katniss, and she's very talented, very skilled. She can scavenge for herself and also uh, climb trees, and that's her main thing. So. Now, I saw the movie with a real crowd, and they were rooting for both of you guys to win it. But when they saw what happened to your characters, you could hear your little sniffles in the audience. And they're like, no, no, you know. Did you get that feeling, like, once you saw the crowd, like, what their reaction was? <laughs> I think you'd have to be really self-involved mm -hmm. to, you know, like, be sad about yourself dying. Yeah. You know, um, I was actually, I was a little teary-eyed at some point when I saw other actors die, like, during the cornucopia scene. It was just kind of shocking the first time I saw it, to see people I knew so Your well. friends, yeah. <laughs> like, beating each other up and dying. And that was very strange to see, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was funny to see everyone's reaction. And it's actually funny because I always laugh at my own death and people are always like, <laughs> Now, the DVD comes out on August 18th. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff on there, so talk to me through it. Have you seen the DVD? Have they told you it's going to be on there? Are we expected to see some deleted scenes of your characters that we had not seen before? Um, there's this really cool thing that, that Lionsgate had us do. They gave us um, flip cams to record the process of getting ready for the premiere and all the marketing stuff and that went into it and the mall tours. Out. And they took all of our footage and, and made this documentary out of it that I think fans will really like because it's very candid and it just shows us like behind the scenes. And I think it really shows how much of fans we are. I mean, we're walking around LA like filming posters and stuff going, oh my God, Hunger Games. So it's, it's really, really dope. Now that the movie's out, people know who you are, what's next for you? What are we going to see you in next? 
Um, well, I have a movie that I'm starting uh, really soon, like a couple of weeks, called The Spectacular Now. And it's really awesome. It stars Shailene Woodley and Miles Teller. And uh, it's directed by James Ponsall. And it's going to be really, really cool. It's a cool, like, coming of age tale. Um, just an amazing story, and I'm so proud of it. And, uh, vastly different from Hunger Games, which is cool because I know this movie is going to follow me for the rest of my life, the Hunger Games. Um, so we're, we're trying to do things that are a little different and stepping out of the box a little bit. And yourself, what do you got coming up? Anything? Um, I have a couple of projects, um, you know, kind of like in the pipes right now. So. You know, so at the end of the day, for anybody who has not seen it, what's a good reason to pick up the DVD of, and Blu-ray of Hunger Games? To see us joking off and being ourselves on yeah. set. <laughs> I, I, I always buy DVDs and Blu-rays for the behind-the-scenes stuff. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure I have DVDs that I've actually never watched the movie. I just watch the special features over and over and over again. Um, because, and this thing is jam-packed full of really, really cool stuff. It's like a three-hour, this is a feature-length documentary on the, make, on the making of the movie. That I think fans of the internet really love, you know, to go in-depth and see how different things are done in the movie. So, yeah, go okay. get it. We're good. Thanks a lot. Yeah.